good morning and a good Chodesh. Today is the Aleph Shvat, the Chodesh Chodesh Shvat, the month of Shvat coming up, which is the day when we became Rebbe. And 70 years ago was the day that the Rebbe said the first civic discourse and officially accepting the leadership of the Chabad movement, the leadership of Am Israel. And in, tonight we're going to give a class in this Mimer and this Hasidic discourse, the second class. And um, you're all welcome to join. Now, so today we're continuing finishing chapter 18 in the Tanya. Yesterday, the Alter Rebbe explained about how every single Jew, no matter what level of, of understanding, what level of observance, he has the neshama, he has the soul, and he has a part of the soul, could be even the lowest level of the soul, but yet in Kedusha, in holiness, everything is interconnected and therefore it is connected with the very, very highest level of godliness. And in every Jew, in his chachma, in his wisdom, through the wisdom, this is where the neshama comes into the person. And from there, it spreads throughout the person. That means that it can affect them, not only in an abstract way, but also internally. Now, the Rebbe now goes to explain, what is it about Chachma? Why is it that this is the place where godliness is revealed? This is the place where the Neshama is revealed. What is it about Chachma, about the wisdom? If you remember in the earlier chapters, we explained the concept of the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, that what is the wisdom? The wisdom is the spark the idea that a person gets understanding is the developing of the idea. Now, in order for the person to get the idea, to get the spark, it is necessary to become like an empty vessel. Meaning, in order to receive an idea, you have to remove yourself from your own ideas to receive something that you don't have. And here the Alter Rebbe goes to explain that really the Chachma is the source of understanding and it is above understanding. It is the Koyach, the power to receive something which is not understood. And this is the source therefore of all understanding. To Connect with the Ein Sof, with Hashem. The only way to do it is when there is something, the bridge that connects you and Hashem is something when that, that is void of your own existence, of your own understanding. It is above understanding. And therefore, the faith is connected with that level. The Embuna, which is super rational, something which is above understanding. And this is something that is connected that with every single Jew, no matter what, that he has that level of Chachma, of, an, of the level of the connection which is above understanding. So let's look inside. Now the Chochma, I explained earlier, this is the initial flash in the intellect. This is the source of the intelligence and comprehension. And this is higher than Bina, Bina's understanding. 
which is the faculty of understanding and idea and grasping it. Now the Chachma, the Chachma, the wisdom is above comprehension and understanding. Vehi mokir lehem. And the Chachma is the source of intelligent and comprehension. As that Rebbe, we can see it also in the wording, the way Chachma, in Hebrew, the way you write the Chachma. This is the etymological composition of the word Chachma is Koyach Ma. Koyach means the faculty, the power. Ma means what? Something which is unknown. So this is the Koyach Ma, the faculty of the unknown. Which is the faculty which cannot yet to be comprehended. Cannot be grasped yet with in intellect. And for this reason, the light of the Ein Soiv, blessed be he, the light of God, is, uh, is enclosed in this. The Leis Machshavet Fisa Bekla, which no thought can comprehend it. And this is vested in Chachma. And this is the reason why he says, Dalt Rebbe, now Dalt Rebbe says, why every Jew has this belief and this faith in Hashem, no matter what level. All Jews, even women and illiterate. What does we mean by women? Just back, back in the days, the women would not be sitting and studying the Torah. They were busy at home, preparing and helping at home. So back then, today it's a whole different story. Even the Alter have encouraged women to study more Torah. And certainly the Rebbe, of course, encouraged that there should be the knowledge, understanding in Torah, men, women, and children. But even in the days when women would not be studying Torah, yet their emuna, their faith in Hashem was, is so strong. It's above logic. And even people who are illiterate, people who are, have no knowledge whatsoever, they nevertheless, they have the faith in God. Because faith is beyond understanding and comprehension. Because there's a, there's a, a scripture states that says the fool believes everything, but the clever man understands. You read this verse, it seems a little derogatory. But the truth is, it's not. When he says the fool believes everything, the Medrash actually says that this verse is talking about Moshe Rabbeinu, about Moses. That the fool is Moses, believes everything. Which means that he has the level of Amunah because in the, when we're talking about the greatness of Hashem, even Moshe is considered like a fool that doesn't understand. And the way he receives, the way he connects is through the Muna, through the faith, which is above understanding. It is like when you see something. It is a deeper understanding. Deeper than understanding. That's what al Rebbe says. And in relation to Hashem, to the Almighty. Who is beyond intelligence and knowledge. And in, there is no thoughts that can comprehend it at all. 
Akol Kipsoim Etzleiz Baruch. All are like fools before him. Kenechsiv, as it is written, Vani Ba'a Veloy Eido, I am a foolish and ignorant. Behemoy So Isi Imach, I am as a beast before you. Vani Tomid Imach, and I am constantly with you. Dalta Rebbe explains that we are all like beasts, we are all like animals, we don't understand when it comes to Hashem. Keloima. Meaning to say that because I approach you as a fool and, and a beast, which means through the irrational power of faith, it's not just, it's a super rational. Precisely therefore and thereby am I constantly with you. Meaning to say, when you're talking about connecting to Hashem, you can connect to God in two ways. You can connect to God because you understand. The deeper, the more you understand, the more you're connected, and you can reach up very, very high. But this is a limited connection. You cannot be always... There's a, there is a limit to our comprehension, our understanding. But when you go from the other hand, when we receive from Hashem the Amuna, the light in our neshama, in our soul, which is beyond logic, meaning that we compare to Hashem, we consider it like behemoths, like a beast, like a fool, like we know nothing. And this is why we are always with Him, because we're not limited to our understanding. Velochein, and therefore, says the Alter Rebbe, even the most worthless of the worthless and the sinners among Israel sacrifice their lives for the sanctity of Hashem, Hashem's name, and in most cases, in most cases, so as, the, so as the Rebbe explains, in most cases, people really give their lives over to Hashem, even when they don't know anything. I mean, this is a fact of reality in history. And, but sometimes we do see that people don't give up their lives. So the Rebbe once explained that the reason why those people will not give up their lives is only because they don't realize that bowing to this idol means anything. They think, ah, oh, that's an idol, it doesn't mean anything to me. But as soon as a person realizes that doing something wrong, doing something against God, disconnects the person from Hashem, he will never do it. A Jew is simply in incapable of disconnecting himself from Hashem. Continues the Alter Rebbe. And therefore, again, even the, the, the worthless of the worthless of the Pesha Israel, they give the life over to Hashem, in the most cases, and they suffer harsh torture rather than deny God's unity. Even if they are boors, they are illiterate, who are ignorant of God's greatness. And even the little that they do know, that they do possess, they don't delve into it at all. It's not that they focus on what they know and say, okay, that's why I'm, I'm going to give over my life. They don't give over the life because of their understanding and their meditation, the contemplation of God. But rather without any knowledge and any reflection. It is as if it is something that is totally impossible to renounce the one God. 
there's no there's no arguments there's no reasoning there's no rationalization nothing why is it where is it coming from it says it is because the one God illuminates and animates the entire soul. Where is it illuminating through? Through the Chochmah. It is being enclosed in the faculty of Chochmah. She as explained earlier, is beyond any graspable knowledge. And intelligence is beyond it. There's an interesting uh, case in the Talmud that talks about the story of the Rav, uh, Rav, one of the great sages. And it would, it would be arguments between the sages. And so certain cases there was that the Gemara says, Shosik Rav, the other side, they represented an argument and he became silent. He's, he was silent, he didn't say, didn't answer. Normally, this would indicate if you're silent, that means you have nothing to answer. That means who do we rule with? Who would we rule like? The other side. But yet the Gemara says, no, they rule like him. Why? He was silent, he had nothing to answer. And the answer is, the Hasidus explains that the, the silence does not represent something he is silent because he doesn't have what to answer it is silent because he's seeing the thing is beyond explanation beyond words so this is the idea of chachma so chachma it's like like they sometimes you have an idea you know you see something you in you it's like seeing and you cannot explain it yet but you see it and if you see it and you're so you have this conviction that this is the real thing. So this is the where we take what do we take from this is the idea that there are certain things that we do. This is the neshama that Hashem shines in us, and we know that this is it. Whether we can bring it down in words or not, the Yiddish neshama sees it, and that's why people, that's why atheists would give their life for Hashem, which has been the case many times throughout the history. So thank you. This is the end of today's share. Thank you for joining. You should have a good Chaydash. And uh, join us uh, tonight. We're going to give the second part of the Rebbe's Mimer from 70 years ago, Basi Legani. And that will be tonight, 8 o'clock. So um, please feel free to share and to subscribe. We'll see you tonight and tomorrow morning again with the Tanya. Any questions?